And you, don't you butt in like a belch between two pints, cos you're out of your fucking element. So make like a hare and sod off. Let's pretend I didn't hear that. Now get out of here, before I get tired of playing make-believe. I see you lot are tough in the town and nowhere else. Fuck this, we're gonna let some dandy's boyfriend scare us. Let's show him how things are done on our turf. Any last words? <laughs> Thank you for your help. That's the only way to deal with this rabble. They beg for trouble. And you're begging for trouble just coming here at this hour. Especially dressed like that. I've come on business. Good luck with that. Wait. You helped me once, perhaps you'd be willing to do it again. For more than a kind word this time. What's involved? Just to be clear, I'm neither a bodyguard nor an assassin for hire. Now, what makes you think I need either of those? I'd simply ask you to accompany me on a stroll. Should anything happen along the way, well, perhaps then you might need to do some work for your pet. What say you to that? Agreed. I'll be right behind you. Keep your hand on your hilt. As a general matter of precaution, of course. Of course. Always do that when I'm out for a stroll. Those men were waiting for you, lying in ambush. What are you involved in? Those men were common credit. Unaware they'd cast their net for an extreme place. I'll remember that when it comes time for you to pay up. Bad idea. Now protection's gonna help you! Sick. Sick of it. One of them mentioned a protector would be of no help. What is this about? Let's say I've found a niche I intend to explore. The details I must keep to myself. You're late. I'm afraid I had some unexpected adventures along the way. However, we can now focus on our core concern, and that is what matters. Who's the fella followed you here? He's my gardener. I never go anywhere without him. He's good luck, you see. Just no funny stuff. Got it? What's going on here? Oh, listen. Mind watering those cornflowers over there? No cornflowers here. Look harder. Right, on with it before winter snows surprise us. Got four quarts for you now. I can get you another two real quick. Provided you're not lying about demand. I am Ginter de Laverac, and I never go back on my word. I had no trouble distributing the last four quarts, and I assure you there's demand for more. We'll see about that. For now, you owe me 5,000 crowns for the last batch. We agreed on 4,000, and I don't like cheats. I suggest you refrain from trying to pull anything lest you feel a witcher's blade in your gut, right? Don't care who owes who or how much, but this man is supposed to pay me. So I'd rather he not get fleeced. <laughs> Witcher or not, you can't hope to drop us all. Wanna find out? Peace brings prosperity. Strife's bad for business. Fine, make it 4,000. Let's go. Pure pleasure doing business with you. Well, that went better than I ever expected. We done with our walk? Yes, and here's your pound. One question. Who buys your fist deck? 
dull friends in high places. I have many. They pay exceedingly well, though they're demanding as clients. The Fistech must be of the purest variety. Pleasure meeting you. Greetings, Witcher. It's nearby. Ready? Lead the way. Splendid. Come. I've got this cracking in my spine. Mm -hmm. The King of Beggars, man. His name is Tinboy. What do you know about him? Not much. He's easy to ire, so tread carefully. Ah, we need him far more than he needs us. Alone, elf. Who's this? A concerned friend. Ah. Fine. Here's how we see things. The boss at Loggerheads with Cleaver. There's got to be a payoff. We've got an offer, and it's non negotiable. Surprise us. A steady supply of iron in exchange for 50% of your profits. Give you 25. Who are you to dictate anything to the King of Beggars? Oh, 35's as low as we'll go. Fine. We'll take your offer. But perhaps we should... You should go home, Elf. Agreed. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, tin boy. Too much drink. You softened your bloody mind. This here's Cleaver's territory, you prick whittler. Damn it. Who's this now? Cleaver's boy! Oh, that's oh, just oh, oh, first! Get it. What do we do? Oh, 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 it! This way! Geralt, quickly! Careful! There could be more in there! Careful! There could be more in there! Careful! There could be more in there! Follow me. What now? There's a payoff at the end of this. So, supplies. That's something we can count on. Who'd you take me for? Gave you me word, didn't I? But I'd hire guards if I was you. You never know with Cleaver. Think they'll come back? A few of Cleaver's little shits escaped. Bugger probably already knows everything. I've no men to spare, can't guarantee your safety. If I was you, I'd lay low for a time. Thanks, Tin Boy. Down the line, the bosses will make a deal. You'll be left alone. 
All you gotta do is stay alive till then. <laughs> what now? Here we chat while your partner's just flown the coop. Damn it. Hey, wait. <laughs> Good luck. Hattori, wait. We can go at it here, or at my place. Oh, Oi, Cocker! Yes, you in there? Open up. No chance. Leave me be. Don't be silly. Let me in. No, never. I shall stay in here until Middenvern. Forgive me, Geralt. That was a mistake. To parley with bandits, make deals. Too late now. King of Beggars will get you supplies, and then what? You'll have to pay him. What have I done? Geralt, you must help me! No, I won't. I'm a Witcher, not a bodyguard. Precisely! You must find me a bodyguard! Geralt, I beg you! They'll kill me! Got anyone specific in mind? There's a mercenary, Sucrus, often drinks at the Sturgeon. He's an old pirate, a Skelliger. He used to work for me. Huge as an oak, wouldn't fear a dozen cleavers. Can't you talk to him yourself? We parted... Not on the best of terms. That is to say, he demanded a bonus, and I... Didn't pay him. Great. What now? Am I supposed to pay your dues? I'm certain you'll find some way to agree. Geralt, please don't leave me this way. We live in uh, My wife won't believe when I tell your bread, her. your coin, for this shite. Hey, green boy. What do I got to do? I don't know. Look all three suspicious to me. I'm warning you. Yes, I should interject. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? We weren't done conversing. Call that a conversation? Not your plowing business. You need a smack, is that it? You did well, mate. An ale to patch things. Come, we'll talk inside. <laughs> what brings you here, Garrett? Looking for a bodyguard. Interested? Why not? If there's coin in it. Well, there isn't. Not yet. So we're the batter. Favor for a favor, huh? I'm gonna kill you, Tori. Yeah, I guess. What did you have in mind? Your brother-in-law owes me some coin. Get it back and we'll talk. <sighs> Damn it. I'll do it. Where'll I find him? Nearby of the docks. You know what? I don't care for his coin all in all. If you don't get it back, I won't mind. So what do you want me to do? Smash his stock of mead. It was me brought it in from Aunt Skellig. That a mature thing to do? Nay, but it's fair. Hey, I'm going to see the puking's. 
set in. You look familiar. I have a wallop yet. Don't this is where I'm I see it all. Ah! Ugh, got a sharp pain in my spine. Burgers and purchases of the free city of Nervigrad. Farewell. Help some fellas out, Master. We're a bit of coin short another round. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witchers earn more. Old villagers pitch in. Lords open their purses. Ladies do like with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. What's the wish you for, anyways? It's to help men in need. You boys get tired. Probably ought to go home now. Well, how long we've been drinking now? Two days. Well said, Master. A home we will go. Witcher? Oh, hear about the notice by chance? Not quite, but what's it about? I hear right, you're going on some voyage, need a companion. Not just some voyage, cross the sea. Mark this, when I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved let I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either, a black one. The rarest and most precious. Well, well. Ambitious. Perhaps. But they were empty words. I came from the war. That one and the next. But I never fulfilled my promise. My time to change that. For if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone. Need a strong shoulder to lean on. With your shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? Plan's crazier than it is sane, but there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. See you there. Your waist, like everyone else. Smell that hangs in the air. Do you know it? Greetings. I'm Mr. Sucrus's collector. Come to get. Mr. Sucrus, the man's a boor. I do not deal with illiterate peasants. Tell him I'll pay just as soon as palm trees sprout on Skellige. Palm trees have sprouted on Skellige. Now pay up. It can't be. Of course I shall pay Sucrus. A letter of credit acceptable? Redeemable at the Vivaldi's bank? Yes, I'm on my way. Ramen. 
supper I never refused. Run, run. Greetings. Hi, hi, Garrett. How you doing? Took care of it. Trader said he'd give you a letter of credit issued by the Vivaldi's bank. Is that so? Well done, mate. So who am I to knock off? Just want you to keep an eye on someone. This swordsmith. Seems you know each other. I be your Hattori, the elf. Tried swindling me on axes once, the bastard. You working for him? You could say that. We're trying to dismantle the swordsmithing monopoly in Novigrad. Oh, noble cause. Well, you're vouching for him. Don't see why not. I'll grab some of the boys and we can go. Satori. See, Sucrus already found you. You two agree to something? Yes, Geralt. I was forced to sell him a few axes at the wholesale price, but I was glad to do it. Thank you. Finally accepting orders for swords again? Sadly, no. I lack certain crafting supplies. Let me guess. Ernst van Horn's got a monopoly on them as well. Just so. He bought them cheap from sword makers abandoning the trade. Now he hoards them like a squirrel. But if you... No, you'd never agree. Agree to what? I happen to know where Van Horn keeps his hoard. It's more than he could possibly ever use. We could borrow a little. What are you getting me into? Borrow? Don't you mean steal? Stealing from a thief's no crime. It isn't? So what is it? Poetic justice? How did I get sucked into this? And why? It's simple. The best swords you've ever seen. Armor, trebuchet, catapults. All right, all right. Assuming I agree, how do you see this? Van Horn has his warehouse at the docks. The materials I need are very heavy. You must ask Sucrus to take his boys. Uh, one more thing. The crates I need will smell of ammonia. Oh, God. Greetings. Oh, Geralt. How are things? Hattori's got a job for us. Great. Now he was starting to get bored. Wants us to borrow a few crates from Ernst Van Horn's warehouse. They'll smell of ammonia. Mm, sounds doable. I know where Van Horn stores his goods. The boys and I will go there, look around. Meet us near the Sturgeon. Fine. When? After dark, of course. See you there. God, the Reapers come for me. One guard at the entrance. I'll take care of him. Thought you might. Me nose ain't all that sensitive. I'll not find the right crates, so you gotta mark him with chalk. We'll get a cart in the meantime. Fine. What do I do when I'm done? Just leave the warehouse. Then we'll go in. Whoa. 
Dwarf, this is the thieving swindler I told you about. Are you following me, you scoundrel? Ah, plowing nonsense. I knows him. It's Witcher Geralt. How goes it, Master Witcher? A Witcher? Well, it all makes sense now. Mr. Dwarf, do not listen to him. The bastard will curse us. You trade heads with Troll. A friend of Yap and Zigrin's a friend of mine. Now sod off for I lose my temper. Now! Abracadabra, hocus pocus. How goes it, Master Witcher? Anything specific you're looking for in Van Horn's warehouse? Your friend Zygmunt sends his regards. By your own doing, just don't nick everything. And hurry, get it done while I'm in the privy. As long as the damp don't make me sick. supplies. Does stink of ammonia. Must be it. That'd be it. Gotta signal them now. Any idea whose warehouse this is, goat fucker? Aye, Gerald. It's a bloke Atari told us about. The bugger who sleeps with Cleaver or something. Sucrus? Why are you here? With the sorcerer? Ah, oh, now I see. That is one hell of a jest you've pulled. Hattori sent you? That plowy non shoot will be sorry his mother didn't strangle him with his navel string. But first, we'll feed you to the crabs. Hands off my brother-in-law, swine. Only I can thrash him. Understood? Brother, let's mop the floor with these plowing Nordlings. Join us, Geralt. Adam. Give him here, Sukris. Twirsang! <laughs> Pathetic. We could conquer all Nilfgaard with this fighter. Super stupid. I love you like a brother, you unkempt bugger. Friends? Of course, friends. What good has Becker ever brought us? Where's that Draca that hit me? Don't mean to spoil your reunion, but what'll we do with Van Horn? We'll take him to Skellige before he comes too. Won't be any more trouble to you. And maybe we'll try a new venture. But first we have to move these crates to Hattori's. True. I had to pay him a visit too. Oh, 
Greetings, Ibeer. Geralt, you return safe and sound. I do. You doing all right? Never better. Once Van Horn had finally left, Cleaver lost interest in swordsmiths. I can forge swords again without fear of my workshop going up in flames. Glad to hear it. You've no notion how glad I am. Have no need of sucrus anymore, and can devote myself to what I truly love. I thank you, Witcher. So now can you craft me something extraordinary? Naturally. It is what we agreed. Give me a few days, then come by for your new sword. Depends who's asking. A witcher. Want to talk to him? Hmm. Yeah. And I want to plow with the lovely Queen Seru. Gonna let me in or not? Hey, no passage for the likes of you. Seems to me we ought to be able to come to some sort of agreement. All right. In you go. But cause any trouble, and we'll gut you faster than you can say Nilfgaardian Vendetta. Open the gate. Sergeants! Ardell! Witcher! To see the Baron! Don't want no disturbances. That clear? What do you think? Guard called you a sergeant. You a Temerian soldier? Not your concern, mate. Deserter. Temerian army don't exist, no more. So what are you all doing here? Had a choice after the Black Ones thrashed Oi, it. Fancy Let it lie and try to lead normal life. Continue to resist. Join the group. Good as a hero, looking to save the common folk. Maybe I should send him round to the creek. Might catch something. Oi, where the fuck Hope are you going? Assist you. How can I help you? Interesting lilt in your voice. You originally from Skellige? Odd Skellig. Spent my whole childhood in Holmstein. Why'd you leave? Always had a liking for the smithy. I'd sit there all day taking things in. The heat of the furnace, the smell of the hot steel, the pounding hammers. At 17 winters, my dad told me he could teach me no more. Sent me out there into the world bid me to hone my craft. A few years on, I had my master crafting papers. Then the war broke out, and I landed here. What are you selling? What's good? Take care now. I'll tell you, I'll tell you where the loot's at. <laughs> Your mate split the loot between them long ago. At least that's what I would have done. And you, sure. Nothing here for you. Save your strength. Die with some dignity. Good prick. Emphysema? Now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. 
How oh, how we danced, how we twirled, ha ha ha! Ooh! One, two, three, one, two, three, ha <laughs> ha! Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Look at that. Didn't even stay for tea. In spite of all that blabbering about how cultured the nation is. Rumors rarely find confirmation in reality, especially the ones about foreigners. <laughs> right you are. I'm... I know who you are. Believe I also know why you've come. We'll talk inside. Make yourself at home. Hey, where would I put the bloody vodka? Ah, there it is. A snifter. Why not? Ha! A man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltest dead and Natalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell! Who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stringer. Now the blob tits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? Didn't come here to talk about the scenery. You're wrong to avoid the topic. You've just arrived, plain to see. And the local swamps and bogs, they're interesting to say the least. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. Get to the point already. Siri, that's why you've come, isn't it? So she was here. She showed up some time ago, exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Said some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. down. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. But I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing.
How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail. Then I saw a butterfly. And I ran to catch it. And I lost my way. You and your father. When did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come. I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come. I'll help you up. Could do a lot more. Come. Look! There's something there. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But. No buts. Stay here. I must see something. Short, but still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Ah, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Let's see. Oh, his liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tight? The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. My bet. The Wolf King got him. When did children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver. But I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. Get 
didn't come out. You cut him up bad. The Wolf King will be angry. All right, I have everything. Now for a spot where I can build a fire, and brew the oil in peace. What are you doing? Greasing my blade. There. We'll see just how effective Uncle Vesemir's formulae are. Do parents often send their children out to follow the sweets? Sometimes they send their children, sometimes they go themselves. Do they return? No. Why would they? They've plenty to eat where the park ends. This way, through the cave. You lead. Dark. Afraid? Are you? No. <laughs> what? The Wolf King, now do you believe me? I do. Hide! Give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Girl, you can come out now. Come on. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. Well, I've, I've not, miss, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in... Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you, once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Gretka in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I... Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her, and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. The little girl who showed up here with Siri. What happened to her? Gretka. She's safe and sound. Helps out in the kitchen. Siri told me of the girl's parents, what they decided. So I decided not to send the lass home. She's fed here. 
A roof over a warm corner she calls her own. She wants for nothing. What happened to Siri? I've told you already. A topic for another time. Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family, but then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. God! This man's under my protection. No one's to bother him in any way. Don't stare. I've not grown horns. Treat it as a token of my good faith. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the other side of the wall? <laughs> you see it there? <laughs> What's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. Incense. And an old key. Here it is. You know what it unlocks. Damn it! Jammed again! And the bed chamber. Tomorrow's Sandalwood. room is there. And something else. Saffron? Hmm. Damn ugly for a doll. The kind you'd stick with pins to hurt someone. Candlestick. Stems broken. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. The Baron and his wife. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. Hmm, it gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Huh. 
Huh. Rest of the candlestick. And wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle. From Toussaint. Yeah. Erveloos. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Pam Param. Pam Pam Param. Pam Param. Damn. Trail breaks off. Mm. Screws find with something else, though. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find Fight. much else here. Stinks of the guardian corpse to me. Looking around. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coop lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Ought to have a chat with this peller. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just want to ask about the amulet. 